Hey everybody, Matt Burke here. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Buckler by John Dillard. That's right, folks. He does everything himself. Um, I backed the, uh, I believe, standard tier. Uh, and it came with the, uh, the the graphic novel. All these cool uh, tchotchkes right here. And this, um, it's like a, 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 I believe it's almost kind of like a, a side story prequel. Um, somewhat of a, a heist tale. But yeah, it came with this, this cool sticker right here. You got The Buckler. Um, you got the logo right here. You got the Cursed Comics company sticker logo right there and you got two uh coasters right here because it kind of coincides with the character buckler he's got a a tackle um and bait and bar type um establishment in the book um the uh the print quad in here is fantastic uh the art styles in here are, are a little different this one's i believe um like the standard um dillard style uh it's like really high def and uh, uh really detailed um and this one's kind of more like a like a bruce tim like batman the animated series style so you're gonna get a little bit of flavors too, um, yeah, man. Uh, just to just to jump into the book, it's also signed right here too. And like I was saying, um, you know, Dillard, he uh, he he does everything. Oh, I love that picture right there, badass. Um, just so so like a little quick rundown. If you guys don't know the the Buckler, um, he's he's uh he's a straight up villain. Um, without spoiling too much, he. In the story, uh, he's been gone from from Canada. He's from Winnipeg, so it's already it's an original character. He's not from America. He's from Canada. He's been he's been gone for four years. He comes back, and um, he's he's not a he's not the hero anymore. Now he's kind of like this uh, Tony Soprano esque type type uh, crime lord, and uh, it's just really really interesting. Um, it's cool seeing like this crime take from like a colder environment. It kind of gives you like this uh, kind of like Fargo feel to it. Um, really really digging it. Um, it's really, really down to earth too. And, um, I don't know, man. Um, I, I guess you could pull some comparisons to like, a uh, Mark, M M Mark Miller's, uh, Nemesis, which, which I like too. I got that, uh, I got that book too. Um, but yeah, John Dillard, he does everything on here. He's the creator, the writer, the line art, the colors, the lettering, everything. I mean, and he's got, he's got a, a, a host of, uh, awesome editors and, uh, look at this beautiful art. Um, it, uh, the, the story just starts out right in the middle of a, of a, um, uh, a, a shit storm and a snowstorm. You don't know what's really going on. Um, you just know that he's, he's uh, chasing after this uh, cat named, uh, named Harrington. You can't run forever, Harrington. You're old and weak and a bastard. And I'm the goddamn buckler. And I'm just warming up. So he's just, he's just going after him. You don't know who he is. Uh, what, I, what I love about Dillard's art is he always has his awesome perspectives. <clears throat> uh, there's, he, he does a lot of uh, foreshortening in his work. And uh, it really, it really grabs the eye and pulls you in. Uh, the this book is chock full of comedy um, uh, surprises. I thought I had the whole story figured out. <clears throat> Again, that, that's that's me, man. I always think I, I know what's up with some a lot of these books I review, and they they throw me a curveball. And this this one, you know, I, I did not know. Um, kind of find out that this guy right here um, is a is a newscaster <laughs> in this town, and he's um he's actually uh, about to marry the Buckler's wife. So he's been gone for a long time, four years, and he's coming back home to Winnipeg, and you, you figure out that he's he's <laughs> this guy's gonna marry his wife. Look at that right here, man. I love I love the I love his um his mannerisms, his expressions, and his art. I just oh, love the art. Look at this double page spread here, folks. I love that, man. It reminds me of like um something like Mobius would do. Just, just showing you the, like the massive scale of something, you know. Just uh, zoom out, you know. Even like a Jeff Darrow piece, love that man. Just, just shows you what you're dealing with. And from, from my understanding, this, this scene right here ties into the, uh, this book right here, the uh, Temple of Polar Twilight. And uh, I read this one first, and I went back and read that, so it kind of gives you a little bit of, um, <clears throat> I think a backstory. I could be mistaken, but that's, that's what I gathered from it. Another shot right here, digging that. Really cool angles and perspectives from Dillard, man. Really inspiring. I love his work. I love the design of the character too, Buckler. Um, he's just really got this kind of, kind of like old school like superhero look. Um, it's a cool costume. He's a uh, he's just got the like like kind of like the Flash, man. Kind of reminds me of the old school Flash costume from the TV show with John Les Wesley Ship. Um, and then he has these uh. He's got these uh, these moose horns on the back, so it's kind of got that Canadian feel, and you got the big maple leaf right there. And uh, yeah, man, he's he's got this buck, this this buckler too, which is this tiny little shield that people use um, on his utility belt on the back, but he's kind of hiding it right here. And um, 
in this part he's got the uh kind of like the the cold cap i would love to see a toy of this character man like like a uh maybe like a he-man figure style masters of the universe or even like a um a marvel legends would be even the best but um yeah man the story picks up and you find out that he's uh he, his this this guy right here is is actually about to marry his wife and he's trying to set him up and there's a really cool uh fight scene in here where these guys try to jump him i'm not going to spoil it but <laughs> it's hilarious um there's a lot of like um x-ray uh vision into the uh afflicting wounds of some of the uh some of the people that mess with um with the buckler but uh he he gets set up man and uh he he he, he finally gets harrington a bit and here's a cool little piece right here i like this one again awesome perspective shots coming up He's, and it's right in the middle of a live stream too, and I love, yeah, I love the way the, bu the buckler just, um, the actual shield buckler just sets up right there, and uh, he he uses the he uses the buckler in the book, and uh, it's not the way I thought he would, you know what I mean? Um, I thought he was gonna use it in a different way, and it was a, it was a really cool, awesome surprise. Um, there's like this this uh, this big um, brawl at the end of the book. I want let me show you guys. Um, this is this like epic shot right here, man? Where this people are just um, about to just go full force on him, and it's this double pager right here. Really good. I like the way that it, uh, it lined up in here. It's, uh, it looks really cool for a, for a, um, a graphic novel. Usually people do with the floppies, but man, this looks badass. Look at that, just lining up. So you don't know really um, what's going to happen with the story, but um, it, it it just gives you he, he gives you like a little kernel of, of what just just a taste of the world of the buckler um he he sets you up for for um uh for a, a, a big story that's coming down there's this really cool villain too i don't want to spoil that that's coming in uh i can't wait for the second book um if you guys are fans for of like i don't know uh like tony soprano or maybe even like it's nothing really like him but dr doom man if you if just watching or nemesis i mentioned earlier you're reading this book. You're you're it's it, you're trying to figure out. Oh man, what what happened to this guy? He was a he was a hero, you know. Like why did he turn in it? And that just kind of makes it more interesting than just watching the same old like superheroes and uh, story where he's flying around saving you know a, a, a cat in a tree or he's like stopping bank robbers or something. You're you're really getting into the um, the life of this this guy and it's and it's got <laughs> real life comedy um, in it. But there's also some exaggerated humor. But but there's a yeah, man, there's a lot of really, really cool things about this book. I definitely give it two horns way up. I can't wait for the second one. Um, Dillard also has this really cool channel. Um, it's called Dillard Draws on YouTube, and he actually has um, this this new show called uh, The Man from ba uh, Brownsville, and he has two episodes. He drops them about midway through the month, once a month, and uh, he's got two episodes up. And uh, let me just show you guys a little bit, a little taster, uh, if I can. Um... Let's see here. Yeah. Uh, Dillard's got a really cool voice. He's like really good for um for uh, like uh I forgot the word. It's like a it's not a podcast, but he can really read like radio and just you, you really immerse yourself in the story. This takes place in the four years before the Buckler came home, and um, he he goes back to something happens and he goes to uh to Texas and then old Mexico after that. Yeah. Really cool stuff. It was three o'clock PM on a Tuesday when the Winnipeg Strangler stepped off the bus onto the dusty pavement of Brownsville, Texas. He could So I'll just leave it at that. You can just hear he's already he already sound he's he's, he's pro level like, you know, vocal delivery. You guys got to come check out his channel. It's the second episode. I I binged both of them like with the quickening. Check 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 that out. He's going to he's already working on Buckler 2. Um let's see here. If you guys want, if you guys like these anti-dark heroes, you might like my book. It's Butch Cleaver. Um, I got my campaign open right now. I got the first and second book. It's a supernatural horror western about a butcher that gets killed and he's brought back to life by a voodoo curse. And that curse gives him the power to weaponize bones. So think spaghetti western mixed with the uh, hammer horror. It's filled with gore and slashers and all that crazy stuff. You might like it. You might not. So check it out. 
if you through Batman, Swamp Thing, Jonah Hex, and Hellboy and the Meat Grinder, Butch Cleaver would come out. So check it out if you guys want. And um, let you guys look at this. He is working on the, the Buckler 2. Um, he's, uh, he's, uh, Dillard's a, a really, a really um, inspiration, man. Like he's, he's doing these cool videos. Um, he's, he's doing different things with his character that other people aren't doing. Uh, uh, if you're an artist, you know, an in, in indie, you really should uh, check him out and follow him. Um, I was at the beer store today. And I came upon this beer. I was thinking about the Bucklers. It's Canadian beer. <laughs> it's a, a Unibro. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a La Fin de Mon. And it's a Belgian-style IPA. So it's going to be like drinking a loaf of bread. So it's a 9.5-er. So I'll go ahead and take a crack at it. You look at this awesome signed cover of the Buckler. Really, really love this book. It was it was really cool, man. I'm, I'm glad uh, he's working on the second one. Um, every now and then he's showing, he shows his art, too, uh, for the next book. And it's just... Man, just looking aw like awesomer and awesomer. <laughs> Can't wait. Um, this stuff smells pretty pretty rich. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take a tug on it. Pretty good, pretty good. It's pretty smooth. No bite yet. Nope. That's extremely smooth, dude. For a for a for that type of Belgian style IPA, nine point five. I give that one La Fin uh, du Monde. Two horns way up. This company right here too that brews this, they also do a beer with a Megadeth. They usually got some really cool uh, labels on here. But yeah, guys, check out the Buckler. Check out uh, Dillard's uh, YouTube. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching the uh, the live streams uh, uh, that I've been doing. Open the gates. I've been having other people, other creators, come on talking about their worlds that they're creating with their books. And uh, yeah, thanks. Um, also, guys, uh, just remember to be bold, be brave, and roll the bones to know your role. You guys have a good day.